what was, was ever, and ever shall be. For, if it had come into being, it needs must have nothing before it came into being. Now if it were nothing, in no wise could anything have arisen out of nothing. Melissus of Samos Melissus's philosophical contribution was a treatise of systematic arguments supporting Eleatic philosophy. He agreed with Parmenides that reality is uncreated, indestructible, indivisible, changeless, and motionless. Welcome back, guys, to my YouTube channel, Few Minutes Knowledge. In this video, we're talking about Melissus of Samos. There isn't much information available about Melissus's life. He was born around 500 BC, and his death date is unknown. The little we know about him comes primarily from a brief passage in Plutarch's Life of Pericles. He led the Simeon fleet in the Simeon War, defeating Pericles in the Athenian fleet in 440 BC. Simplicius preserved much of Melissus' philosophical treatise on nature, in his commentaries on Aristotle's physics and on the heavens, and several summaries of his philosophy have come down to us. Diels Kranz contains the majority of the remaining fragments. Melissus, unlike Parmenides, wrote his treatise in prose rather than poetry, making it easier to understand than his teachers. Melissus contends that the One is eternal because it neither came into being nor is subject to destruction. While Fragment 1 merely summarizes Parmenides' arguments against being born and dying, Fragment 2 contains Melissus's arguments. Melissus's argument is twofold, addressing the One's temporal aspect as a timeline, granting the reality of the present moment, he argues that the One has existed eternally in the past and will exist eternally in the future. Melissus's treatise, while not as influential as his fellow Eleatics, had a significant impact on philosophy. Furthermore, Melissus's version of Eleatic philosophy was the primary source for its presentation in Plato and Aristotle's works due to its clarity and conciseness. Melissus, according to Eusebius, was part of a philosophical line that culminated in Pyrrhonism. Melissus was a creative philosopher who could present clear and direct arguments. Despite his general views and the framework of Eleaticism being similar to Parmenides, he made original contributions and innovations to the substance of Eleatic philosophy. Thank you for watching. Don't hesitate to comment below and share this video with your friends. See you in my next video.